I just got back from seeing a movie that I have been dying to see for a little while now, and that is Luca Guadagnino's latest film, Challenges. So let's get into it. So Challenges, if you didn't know, has kind of taken over the internet over the past year since its trailer released and drew up a little bit of controversy with some of the more steamier scenes within the film that it was going to present. And I have to say that I think that this is just another great addition to Luca Guadagnino's filmography. If you didn't know, I am a little bit of a fan of his work. His last film, Bones and All, got a really glowing review from me. And I have even more stronger feelings towards Call Me By Your Name, which I thought was just a fantastic love story. And Bones and All as well is just another way of encapsulating the type of relationships that he likes to really uncover and really explore in an in-depth way with a lot of intimacy and sensuality. Challenges to me is him taking a lot of the things that I think he specializes in and ramps them up to 11. For example, sensuality and intimacy. I don't think really anyone goes into it as in depth as he does and he does it in a way that doesn't feel perverted but it just feels like it works within the scene. It feels so natural and the type of chemistry that these characters have just works so well and is a massive highlight of this film. The trio of characters, Tashi played by Zendaya is fantastic. Mike Feist as Art also incredible, and Josh O'Connor as Patrick, just incredible. The way that these characters bounce off each other, the way that the dynamics evolve over the course of the film, and the way that the narrative is presented just creates a very fun and tense at times film that is full of this just great sense of style and sense of place as a film. I really hate this description of movies and it just feels so perverted, but it just can't be denied here. This film is just so sexy. It just has sexiness written all over it. And I think that's exactly what he was going for. The way that these characters almost tease each other in a very sensual manner. And it, once again, it sounds so perverted, but it's more played off in a more fun way, in a campy way that I think works. And I think there's certain elements of the film that make it work, such as the fantastic score by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. It is a massive part of this film. And I think it just sets the tone of this movie so beautifully. And also the way that this film is shot and edited, it just comes together in a really cohesive fashion. It really enhances what Luca Guadagnino does as a filmmaker. And I think that this was the perfect avenue to explore the type of films that he likes to do. Talking about the narrative a little bit more, this is kind of a love triangle. It's very competitive between these three characters. They've all had some kind of love for each other, but there's so much complexity and depth to these characters that I thought really made the film interesting. Zendaya's Tashi is, I think, an incredibly nuanced character with lots to explore. And it doesn't seem that way at first. It does seem like at first that she is this kind of bait and just has this sexual nature that the characters are really intoxicated by. But as the film progresses, this character has a lot to offer and a lot of depth that is very interesting and kind of turns the film on its head a little bit and completely changes the way that the film unfolds. I really, really liked the screenplay here. I thought it was written incredibly well and I think that's what gives the characters so much depth. Obviously the performances here as well are just so incredible. They know exactly what they're trying to do and they have such chemistry on set that you just feel everything that they're trying to do. It's very convincing. And then I have to talk about Mike Feist and Josh O'Connor because they kind of have very similar angles to what Zendaya's does where at first there's just this real sexual tension between all these characters. But once again, as the film unfolds and the story unfolds, there's a lot more here to these characters. There's little visual motifs here that manage to tell a lot. There's a lot of great acting in terms of utilizing a facial expression to say so much or just simple lines of dialogue that really probe into the character's psyche and give 
these characters an edge against each other. They're always manipulating each other in some form or fashion. And the way that the film consistently does this is so fresh and exciting. Well, really placing it in this campy kind of narrative structure that makes it such a blast to watch. This film is so fun. It knows exactly what it's going for. It knows exactly what it's doing. It ramps the melodrama up to 11 in a way that works. It doesn't take over the film in any annoying way. And honestly, some of the stylistic choices that could be seen as annoying by some, I just had a blast with. The film is just so fun. Challenges also has a non-linear form of storytelling and narrative structure that I think works so much because it gives so much context to these characters. It develops them in a way that feels very organic within the film. And by the time you get to the ending of this movie, you just have so much context for these characters and what has led them to the mo this moment in the most fleshed out way possible. I just think so much credit here has to go to the screenplay and the way that this narrative has been told because I think it does wonders for this film. And once again, a part of the chemistry here is more than just the performances, it's Luca Guadagnino's direction. The way that he films touch is just a way that just comes through the screen and feels so intimate. And unlike really anything that I have really seen from any other filmmaker, I think this is the thing that he really specializes in as a director. Call Me By Your Name and Bones and All had a similar kind of sense to it in terms of that intimacy and the way that characters touch and feel and show compassion and love. This does it as well, just in a more crazier and more often frequency that it became really noticeable here and it really seemed like an avenue for, as I said, Luca Guadagnino to flex his muscles as a director and really showcase what he does and what he specializes in. It doesn't push it too far where it feels perverted or gross. It's just enough where you feel the tension and it's really fun. It has this melodrama and campiness and it all just comes together really nicely. I also want to highlight the tennis about all this film because that is a huge part to this film and the way that it is really integrated into the narrative I thought was just so well done. The way that the tennis shot is well, I've never seen tennis shot like this ever and I think it's the best looking tennis movie that you could ever watch. The way it's edited and cut together, at times it's kind of experimental with the way it films certain sequences and I just thought that there was just so many great moments of payoff within the film. Don't want to spoil anything, but the very final few minutes of this film is just full of these weird quirks that just work. And it's just full of this fun and manages to communicate so much. It kind of removes a lot of dialogue within the sequence. And it's just visual storytelling and performance that really carry us through the finish line and it works so well. There's certain moments in here that I was really hoping it would do and then it did it in the most satisfying way and it just reveals so much about these characters that it gives you a lot to think about after you've finished the movie. I just think that this movie has so much to offer and beyond what the trailer showed you, these characters are so in depth. Furthermore, there is an injury that takes place within this movie and I have sustained the exact same injury in my life and it was incredibly painful and it sucked and it was incredibly frustrating and the way that that sequence was directed, I felt it. I was taken instantly back to that moment and I think that's a good thing, not really for me <laughs> as someone who experienced it and had to just relive that for a second but it is directed incredibly well and once again performed incredibly well. The frustration that the characters in this feel over th that moment was really well handled, I thought, in a way that drew me back to my own personal experiences and I wasn't really expecting that from this movie. There are some minor criticisms that I do have against the film. I do think that there are stylistic choices such as the use of slow-mo that gets really frequent as we get into the latter stages of the movie that kind of got a little bit tedious, I thought, 
and it had this nature where it felt like it should be wrapping up and then it just kept going and going and going. It managed to regain a lot of momentum, so it didn't bother me too much, but I did feel kind of some moments of, okay, let's wrap this up now. And I thought that once again, those extended uses of slow-mo didn't always work for me as it just kind of kept repeating the same kind of tempo within the film a little bit too long for me. And then there are moments as well where it just slows down a little bit too much. It's minor pacing issues really, but that's just being really tedious in terms of criticism. But definitely those moments that I felt with the slow-mo and the way that it decides to handle its third act didn't always work for me in a way, even though it did come to a very satisfying conclusion. One of the most satisfying conclusions of the year that I just thought, showed the depth of these characters and the screenplay in a way that just makes you want to watch this again. Overall, I think Challenges is a really fantastic movie that I highly recommend you check out. I did notice that this did have a little bit of a mixed reaction in my screening. I talked to someone that worked in the cinema after the screening and she mentioned that some people did say that they didn't like the movie and then some people did. So I just want to give you some air of caution there that it might not entirely be for you. If you know what you're getting into though, if you know what Luca Guadagnino kind of does as a filmmaker and what he kind of did in Call Me By Your Name and Bones and all, just know he ramps it up to 11 here and gives you so much more within that style. And if that's not your thing, challenges might not be for you. Just being completely honest here. But as for me, I really love Luca Guadagnino as a filmmaker. I love the way that he handles relationships within his films. And Challenges is no different. I really love this movie and I highly recommend you check it out. I'm going to give Challenges a strong 4.5 out of 5. I was really close to giving this a 5 out of 5. But I think I need to re-watch it again. Give it some further thought and see if those moments that bugged me a little bit continue to do so in a subsequent rewatch. But all that matters is go check this out. This film is amazing. And those are my thoughts to watch challenges. Let me know what you think about the movie in the comments below. I really am interested in what you have to say because as I mentioned, I did notice that there was a little bit of a divisive reaction in my screening. And I wanna know if that's the same for everybody. Let me know, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.